as you're closing, as I'm actually closing the day out today, um, I'm just wondering, and I want to ask everyone on YouTube who's watching this video as well, is what have you done for yourself today? What have you truly done that actually benefits you, that actually gives you some form of happiness, that gives you some form of respite from the day, some ability to relax? What have you done for yourself? Oftentimes we are conditioned to consider other people, put everyone else first, never never address our own needs. Um, as a matter of fact, we get so conditioned that by the time we are adults and um, upset or stressed out or suffering from some sort of anxiety or some some form of uh, some form of uh, stress issue, we don't even know how to identify what is um, what actually is something that we actually. Um, like something that, that actually will help us we can't even identify it most times and so I just want to put this out on the internet to just say just take a moment you know when is the last time you said let me just enjoy myself and take a knitting class let me um let me go for a hike I haven't done that let me do something alone maybe not necessarily with my children or with my husband for just one day and there has to be something um, more than just I think a night out with friends if you're a guy I think it has to be something more than guys night out and if you're a woman it has to be something more than just going to the gym for the day and getting your nails your nails done, uh, a manicure and a pedicure with a little massage. It has to be something just a little bit more than that. Um, we have so many different strains of, of uh, you know, obligations of um, uh, fulfilling the needs of, of other people in our family as well, having, having to... Um, uh, fulfill those obligations and so a lot of times we don't even know what pertains to ourselves. so I just wanted to uh, in ending my own day um, I just wanted to to as well just just sort of uh, give some give everyone who's watching just the um, a reminder just to be courteous to yourself as well just take a moment have a have a quiet moment to yourself. Uh, get out. Ha have a good day doing something that you really like, whether it's antiquing or um, looking at at houses to buy in the neighborhood, or um, you know, really ideally something more expressive. Like if you're a writer, um, maybe get get one page of writing done if you haven't touched that writing for for a couple of months. And, um, you know, if you like to draw, draw. If you love to paint, uh, definitely paint. And don't even get it caught up in um, the fact that, oh, it has to be perfect. Oh, I don't know how to draw. Just get some watercolor, get some paint over at the, um, the arts and crafts store and just have fun. Have fun. Mix up colors. Do all the things that you love to do. Um, you could also get out your camera and just drive to the nearest river or or sunset lookout and just take some pictures you know and upload them and and just breathe and be in the moment but when is the last time you've done something for yourself is the question for today and it's not to get into a victim mode um and feel sorry for yourself it's just um uh, a question to have you bring your awareness gently back to yourself bring your awareness gently back to refilling your own gas tank and um, once you refill that gas tank then you'll find you'll be much more available for others you'll be more available for your children more available for your spouse and more available for yourself if you're um, your, your work and um, and your other obligations if you're single and um, I, 
it's it's just it's just a better process. It's a balance and a um, a sort of fulfillment that uh, I think everyone should try to address. So it's just today. I just would love for everyone just stop, take a moment, let it all go, let the day go, let everything go. Just breathe and relax. Let any sort of victimhood go because we are in control. There may be obstacles, there may be issues, there may be hardship going on in your life, but you can still choose your thoughts. You can still choose to work, work through these issues, um, whether it's a slow progress or a quick progress, you can still choose. So just breathe and let it all go. Center yourself in the moment. Just remember your breath, relax. Take a moment for yourself, be selfful, and don't worry about uh, the, the misconceptions of being selfish. You have to do some things for yourself within a healthy balance, healthy balance, doing things for yourself will fulfill you, revitalize you, and help you to be able to be more available for the people that you love in your life. So with that, have a good one. Enjoy.